Hi guys, Michele here. I really don't know why, but uh, YouTube cancelled my other account in which I did a lot of tutorial on uh, Reno R Link 2 system, and I really don't know why, but YouTube deleted all the videos and all my account. I start once again with all the video tutorials I did, and uh, I will try to recreate any of them, starting by the first one, which is the uh, activation of the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on the Reno Megane, or also the Reno Kajar, or also the Reno Chinook. Uh, um, fitted with the Renault R-Link 2 system version 3.3. Uh, uh, many of you asked me why it's impossible to activate it on the 2.2 version, but I don't know why, but because of incompatibility of the software, it's not possible to activate it on the 2.2 uh, version. So I'm sorry for the guys who don't have the 3.3 version, but... Um, okay, let's start with the video and uh, see you in a, in a while. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to uh, connect the um, OBD2 interface uh, with the car. For the guys who asked me, I bought this one on uh, on Amazon on uh, or uh, on the on the internet, but it's really cheap, but it's very good because uh, it works very well. And uh, guys, uh, please remember that DDT for all software uh, works better with the Wi-Fi version of the USB2 uh, interface, so it must have the Wi-Fi. Uh, symbol on it otherwise uh, it will not work properly also with the Bluetooth one um, is not confirmed that it works properly for the guys who don't know where where the uh, OBD2 interface is in the car it's located under the it's here it's located uh, under the, the dash and we can go to connect the, the interface okay once we've connected the USB OBD2 interface to the to the OBD2 port, uh, the most important things to do is to maintain the dash active by pressing the uh, start and stop button for at least a couple of seconds. And uh, by, by making this, uh, the the dash will remain active for all the all the time of the procedure, so we don't have any sort of problem. This uh, it's helpful for us because it. Uh, keeps the dash active for all the procedure uh, with the DDT for all software, so it's better to maintain the dash active. Okay, so here we are in the software part. For the other guys who asked me uh, where to download the DDT for all software, I, I, I leave you a link in the description of this video in which uh, there is the website where you can download it. And the, the software you are going to download is uh, already, uh, it's already ready to, to be used, so you don't need to uh, download any other ECU uh, list or uh, something else. It's ready to, it's ready to go. And um, unfortunately, it's not, uh, uh, you, you cannot have it for, uh, for Mac OS, you only can have it for Windows, Windows 8, Windows 10 or Windows 7. I use uh, Windows 10 on a virtual machine because I have a MacBook Pro, so uh, it will work uh, even on a virtual machine, so no problem at all. So, for, ah, uh, another another thing I, I want to I want to say is that uh, my Renault Megane, in which I'm doing this tutorial, does not have Apple CarPlay or uh, Android Auto activated, and is not possible to activate them because uh, I have the 2.2.19.300 uh, version of the Arling 2. So. I can't have it, but the procedure is the same and I can activate it by via DDT for all, but uh, unfortunately I'm not going to see anything on my on my R-Link 2 interface, but if you have uh, the 3.3 version with uh, CarPlay and Android Auto deactivated, the procedure is exactly the same. So you follow my steps and you have, and you will have uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay activated. So let's start. We have to open the DDT for all software as usual. Once it opens, we can we have to select the Wi-Fi interface, or if you have the USB interface, you have to select the USB. And we have to select. I I know that I can harm my car in case of badly using, but uh, we already know it. Click connection mode. After that, we have to select the car, which in my case is the Renault Megane, but you can select the capture 
you can select the Clio, you can select the uh, Fluence, you can select uh, the Kajar, you can select the Chenik, uh, every car you want to activate the are link to uh, sorry the carplay and android auto on our link to okay select megan 4 and then we have to go in audio then depending on which version of radnav you are going to use i have the 2.2 version so i have to select 2.x 2.5 you probably have the 3. Point, uh, something version and you have to select this one but i have the two points so i have to select this double click it will open the uh, audio cluster double click again and then we have to go in configuration and select red knob configuration 2.0 part 1 once we select it we have to change this to you see that they are deactivated by default deactivate this uh, this part is uh, what the USB the, the OBD interface read in the car so this is the configuration in the car this is the configuration we are going to modify so we simply have to activate CarPlay authorized and Android Auto Phone authorized by doing this we are going to uh, say to the Arling 2 system that uh, he has to activate these two systems and uh, by doing it we have to first select the Einstein face here which allows us to uh, write the configuration and then we have to click write radnav 2.0 okay once we clicked here you can see now it's authorized but uh, it's not uh, um, the only thing we have to do we have to do a, a reset of the Erling 2 system which is made by uh, two parts the first one is to um, do the key on off reset which is sort us which is a sort of soft uh, reset of the Erling 2 interface and it will perform a soft reset which is way faster the the screen will shut down for uh, for a while for 10 or 15 seconds okay once we've done the uh, key on off reset we also have to uh, perform a full reset of the system by pressing the start button of the the, the arling 2 uh, start button for at least a couple of seconds and the system will uh, uh, reboot itself and it will take uh, uh, a bit longer okay, like uh, 20 or 25 seconds okay here we are and uh, once the reboot uh, of the Arling 2 has been done you simply have to do uh, one thing you simply have to connect your uh, smartphone even Android or Apple to the to the USB port and see if now you have the uh, CarPlay or uh, Android Auto option remember that uh, on Apple on the iOS system is already built in the in the in the phone but on Android Auto you probably have to download by from the Google Play Store the Android Auto app and then you can you can mirror your smartphone on the Arling 2 system guys I hope this video was helpful for you and uh, please uh, comment or subscribe for other, other tutorial in uh, in the next few days it was a pleasure for me and uh, follow my channel and stay focused bye